Hey there guys, welcome back, it's Arrow Dragon, and today I'll be cracking open a case of the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! 2020 Tin of Lost Memories. So we got 36 packs here, well technically, I'm going to show you guys how the tin looks like, um, because it is very beautiful, it is very well designed uh, with the hieroglyphics here, uh, and I can't, you know, like, I don't know, I just don't know the words to express how cool this tin looks like. Uh, it's just simply amazing. So yeah, we are going to get three packs in here, uh, out for the tin. Uh, no promo packs this year. Uh, we got four world premiere cards coming out, and one of them, yeah, you best know it. It is the Red Eyes Dragoon. Um, but basically, we are getting cards that um, are in the core set. They are not promo cards. So no promo cards this year, which is totally all right by me. Uh, some people probably won't like that, but it is what it is. And this is how the pack looks like. So very, um, very cool in design as well. All right, so let's get started. I got some sleeves here for anything crazy that pops out. Uh, and we are going by, what, rows of six, technically. So... That way I can mark how many uh, tins we've gone by. So this is basically the first tin that you guys saw me open. Um, go ahead and focus on the cards here. Uh, but yeah, I did record another video of another case opening, but um, there was some error with that um, video. So I lost it, basically. Uh, but yeah, we got Unchained Soul of Anguish. Super rare. Pendulum Halt. And for first, Prismatic Secret out from this... And it is World Legacy Guard Dragon. How ironic. So in my other video, I did pull this as my first prismatic out from the um, case of that opening. Uh, again, that video is no longer. And man, I did have a lot of crazy pulls. But what is our first ultra rare? Oh, the fusion. Please be Dragoon. Oh, Gladder Beast Automatanus. All right. All right. And Infinite Track River Stormer. Okay, that gets me every time. Um, so, World Legacy Guard Dragon. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't think that's too valuable. Uh, so, I won't sleep up. Like, if it's not anything, like, crazy, crazy. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, moving on. So, we get here. Uh, Beat Raptor, which should not be a super rare because it was a super rare, oddly enough. Infinite Track Trencher. We got Danger Ogopogo, Prismatic Secret, Ultra, Infinite Track Fortress Mega Clops. Hey, that was a pretty good reprint. And uh, we got one of the four World Premier cards, the Successor Soul. All right, the boys on the front there. And we got, is that Obelisk, I believe? Yeah, so it was like part or a scene from the uh, anime where like Kaiba tributed Obelisk for Blue Eyes. So I believe it's in reference to that. It's pretty cool. Okay, so here's the next pack of the first tin. We got Valkyrie Erda. Rogue of Endymion, all right. I did say this card, if it one days uh, in the to the future, because this card was released in Rising Rampage, I believe, or um, I can't remember, Chaos Impact, one of those two sets. Uh, and if it were to get a foil treatment, it would look really nice. And here we are in uh, August 2020. Ooh, it's a Synchro Prismatic, Borlode Savage, please. Drago Berserker. All right, that's still pretty nice, but Borlode Savage would be nice as well. Infinite Track, Anger Drill, and what do we have? Appalosa, Bow of the Goddess. Hey, that makes up for the first 10. Um, currently, this card's probably sitting around $20, $25 maybe? Around there, $20, $25. Uh, Pre-sale prices were kind of averaging out for all the uh, expensive money cards. They were probably like $20 or so dollars, um, like at the minimum. But hey, that's a pretty good pull. That is a pretty good pull. So we have a lot of chase cards in this uh, set this year. So 
because last year was like what Borload, um, yeah, Borload or Boro Sword. So, anyways, we got Zerzio, ruler of the evil eyed, uh, Shinobi Necro, and Striker Dragon. All right, not bad. Super Anti Kaiju War Machine, Mega Thunder King. Wow, that is a lot to say. And Witch Captor Pator. So we do have the Infinity Chasers um, side set cards in here, uh, which isn't too hype. So that was the that was the first ten, right? Or the no, that's more than the first ten. Uh, what am I saying? Um, I think that was the second ten. Maybe I don't know. There because there's three more packs up here, so I I completely lost track of that one or that both sets of packs there anyways infinite track trencher firewall exceed dragon pretty nice as a super actually draco masters of the tenny got another mega clops cool and destined rivals another the uh world premiere cards so this one's basically a uh, skill drain um for blue eyes and dark magician decks all right Next pack. Alright. We are coming up to Witchcrafter Madame Vera. Alright. We did get an Ultra Rare reprint, so hmm, I don't know how to feel for the Super. Pendulum Holt. Got Unchained Abomination Prismatic Secret. Not bad. And what do we have? Infinite Track Earth Slicer and Witchcrafter Schmeta. Alright, so, so far, um, only one good hit. Well, we did get some good cards, good reprints, but I consider Apollos to be the very good hit. Um, so, I'll oh, skip the card there. Doesn't really matter, it's a common. Alright, cool. Firewall XC Dragon. And, oh, did I skip a super? I think I did. Well, sorry. Infinite Track Treasure. Uh, even though it doesn't really matter. Uh, we have Draco Masters of the Tenyi, Ultra Rare, Salamon Great Pyro Phoenix, alright, not bad, and Infinite Track Fortress Mega Claps, wow, so that was a, wow, a rare um, Crystal Heart, a lot of <laughs> Link Monsters in that pack, alright, move it on. Alright, super rare. Another Madame Rivera. Firewall Exceed. Gallon Granite. Hey, that, that looks beautiful. Really cool. Witchcrafter by Street. And another super anti kaiju. So I heard um, they were actually like. Certain Megatons cases that were like clumped. Whoops, skip some cards there. Uh, so the clumping is like nothing short printed. Konami's like, no, nothing. Oh, and speaking of not short printed, Fantastical Dragon Phantasme. All right. <laughs> what do we have after you? Crackdown Secret or Prismatic Secret. That looks really nice. I'm going to sleeve both of those up. Ultra Rare. Strength and Unity. Wow, okay. Another of those, um, what's it, World Premiere cards? And Marinsis Coro Animone. Wow. All right. Anyways, like I was saying, um, a lot of the cards in here. Hold up. Oh, wait. Hot Beer Squadron. Wasn't that card like a $4 rare at one point? Huh. Okay. But yeah, uh, there are some known clumping in these sets or tins. So, like, you can get a tin where, like, you have maybe three Dragoons and, you know, a tin with, like, one or none. Uh, but in theory, um, and for what Konami said, there are no short prints. Just some severe clumping issues. Uh, Mermail Abyss Alacia. F.A. Shining G, or Star GT. Oh, alright. Destiny Hero Dominance. 
I was like, wait, hold on, the Prismatic Secret Snakes. We have another Coral Anemone and another Mega Clops. Wow, I'm getting a lot of the Mega Clops. And, well, commons, commons, cool. Well, I'm going to move all the stack of huge commons here. Put it to the side. Okay. Well, hopefully we start pulling, like, the really good stuff here now. Um, gone through, I'm pretty sure, a couple of tins. And I haven't pulled really anything good quite yet. Witchcraft or creation. Sided mining. Speaking of something really good. Shaman of the Tenyi. Another uh, successor soul. And Alplosa. Oh, wow. What a good pack. Okay, so Silent Mining and Apollosa in the same pack. So sleep up the Apollosa. Grab a sleep for the Silent Mining as well. Whoop. There we go. Okay. But yeah, who knows? Might get some type of broken poles later. Uh in my first case opening and it's such a bummer that the video file um like aired out on me and kind of like i guess you can say got corrupted but i pulled a borlold savage prismatic secret and right behind it was a dragoon and that was insane i i lost my mind over that all right so we got overburst dragon pendulum halt cyber's quantum dragon beautiful very nice infinite track anchor drill and Another super anti kaiju war machine, Mega Thunder King. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just a handful. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip the rest of the comments in the back. There's really no need to go through all the comments in the back, right? Skip into the uh, the meat. Come on, what do we have here? I see something. Unchained Soul of Disaster. I think it was like previously a secret rare. Witchcrafter Scroll. Guard Dragon Pisty, alright. Got Witchcrafter Pottery and Get Out. I find this card really funny all like all the time. Alright. And the rest of the comments, which I won't go through. Oh, come on. Okay. Let's see what else we get here. Sound great, sound like Wolf getting a common treatment. All right, Shinobi Necro. Uh, we got Marine says Blue Tang, Danger Ogopogo again, Storm Dragon's Return, Ultra Rare. Oh, okay. And Magnite Crusadia Habermax. As I have to say, it's pretty cool looking in Ultra. All right, so another nice reprint. Let's leave that up. Very cool. But still no Dragoon. But hey, we still have a lot more left in this case. Um, I pulled two Dragoons in my first case. And I know I keep mentioning it. I'm sorry. But like, I'm not showing you guys. But hey, here's proof. Here's proof. Two, two Dragoons from my first case opening. So, yeah, I know. Ah, rip video file. Would have been awesome to, like, upload that. Uh, I mean, it was, like, 40 minutes long. So uh, I took my time. Took my time to uh, commentate, which I learned to not do in this one because I extended the video for a real long time. Anyways, getting sidetracked. Sarzeal. Marine says Seahorse. Prismatic Secret. IP Mascarina. Yes. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, it does have a little dot there, but I don't know. That's not enough to consider a misprint. And we got Ultra Rare, Evil Eye Defeat. Alright, and Witchcrafter Golem Aruru. Cool. So let me sleep with the IP Mascarina here. Uh, come on, there we go. Very cool. I hope I have enough sleeves. I have, I have four sleeves left. Okay. Alright. Probably just have to Find some more sleeves. Just pulling a lot of good cards. It happens. All right, another Madam Rare. Whoop. Pendulum Holt. Guess Magyata. Looks really nice. Reminds me of the Wing Dragon of Raw almost. 
got Infinite Track, Earth Slicer, and another Witchcrafter Schmetta. Alright. So, uh, I think I'm opening the, the packs I threw on the top there. Uh, yeah, why not? Why not? Let's, let's get, let's get all the way to the foil. Witchcrafter Scroll. <laughs> Unchained Soul of Anguish. Whoops. World Legacy Monstrosity. Wow, this pack, op this pack was just like, I don't know, the common felt kind of weird, and then I just slipped right into the foils. Anyways. Omni Dragon Brotar. Hey. Very nice reprint. Um, uh, so. The price on the secret on that. Probably will drop um, by a lot. But hey, that's a very nice uh, reprint that we got there. Um, I could have seen it, you know, as a super, but Ultra's alright. That's good. Alright. Coming up. Did we, uh, yeah, we skipped that super. Nightmare, Incarnation, Idly, Evil Eye, Retribution, Striker Dragon. Alright. Got another one. Oh, wow. A playset of Apollosa. Wow, okay. So this is way better than my um, first case opening so far. Because we haven't pulled the Dragon yet. So, we don't know. Uh, and Peaceful Burial for an Ultra. Whew. All right. Apollosa. That's <laughs> that's my third one. Um, that's crazy. Very crazy. All right. Let me grab this stack of commons out of the way okay so here's the next pack and what this pack oh oh it has a little tear on the back okay i was like huh that's weird the pack had a little tear on it i guess that doesn't matter as much right uh, the cards are what we are here for all right nightmare incarnation or yeah incarnation idly we only have the Unchained Souls. Ooh, Cyber's Quantum Dragon again. It's a Link Monster. Can it be a fourth Apollosa? Oh, win the Wind Charmer. Okay, that's pretty nice too. I'll take that. And Spell Card. Another Successor Soul. Cool. Hey, that was a pretty good pack. Whoa, I just pulled the top and bottom card together. Uh, so that's fine. They're commons, right? Not the foils. All right, Manaver, Speedlift, Drago Masters of the Tenyi, Evil Eye Awakening, and Destined Rivals. All right. So the only one we're missing now is. Oh, did we get the other one? There's some like another spell. Um, Strength and Unity. I think. I think we pulled that one, right? I don't remember. But there's a lot of foils that I went through. Clearly, we still don't have a Dragoon. Come on. Bye bye damage. Unchained Soul of Anguish. Time to redo it. Hey, this, when I saw this in my first case opening when I pulled this, I was like, yeah. The boy finally got his treatment. Alright, we got the tour and a hey, Starlish Safert. There we go. I think it's like a $10 card now that we got the reprint. Um, so. Really nice, really, really nice. Sleeve of the safer. All right, I'm gonna have to grab some more sleeves here, real quick. So, just give me one moment here. Uh, let's see here. What do I have? I'm gonna crack open a fresh new pack of sleeves, uh, or maybe take out a couple. So, one second here. And if you guys didn't know, card sleeves are actually, uh, I want to say hard to get right now, but low in quantity all over the world, uh, shipment-wise still. Um, was it the uh, top loaders? They are starting to go up in price. I think it was like a pack of 25 was for like 8 bucks, which is a lot because when you think about it, I can usually get a pack of 25 for five dollars, four dollars. Anyways, enough of the uh overly really in price inflated um top loader cards. We got creation, uh Valkyrie Erda, 
What is it? Spell card? Ooh, Magicalized Fusion. That is very nice. Wow. So basically, uh, was it Dragon's Mary? But for spellcasters, uh, you can only use it once per turn though. So, uh, which is, which is okay. So it's basically from your field or graveyard. Interesting. Uh, we got Goliath and, oh, yeah. So, oh my gosh. Why, Konami? Why did you have to make that an ultra rare? And then throw everybody off. Like, oh, yeah, that could have been the Dragoon, but no. Could have made it a rare. I don't think it saw play even as a super. Anyways, Evil Eye Repose. FA Shiny Star GT. Another Gizme Giada. Serzio, Watcher of the Evil Eye. Boss Monster for the archetype. And Omni Dragon Brotar once again. Alright, so I think that's two Brotars. Two or three Brotars now. Alright, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Don't want to make this a super long video now. Rogue of Indominion. Alright. Uh, number XX Utopic Dark Infinity. World Legacy Guard Dragon. Not bad. Beautiful. Pulled one already, I think. I'll trigger extension and what is it? Fusion? Please be fusion. Oh, it's effect monster. Uh witchcrafter Schmidta. <laughs> I think they were previously like supers. They got really expensive for the archetype because of um Madame Ver and um what's the other one? The uh spell card, the creation card that got up in price. Oh, did I just give a fuck? Yeah, Whitefish Salvage. All right, so that, that was our first super. Test Panther, uh, Witchcrafter Hain. There we go. That's the other super rare that was really expensive from the set as well. $15 super, which was insane. Uh, Pottery and Get Out. Man, that card is always hilarious. Okay. Come on, last couple packs here. Can we pull something good? All right. Silent Mining. All right. Nice. This is the pack. I can feel it. Overburst Dragon. Striker Dragon. All right. That's pretty good, too. Oh, two dragons in a row. Come on. Witchcrafter Holiday. And no material. Hey, that's pretty good. I'll take that. No material. So, uh, hey, I'm going to drop that no material on your Kagari. <laughs> Let's continue. Whoop. Okay, that was in a flow. But we got Speed Lift. Unchained Soul of Disaster. Neo's Fusion. Oh, that looks really nice. Very, very nice. Infinite Track River Stormer. And Memories of Hope. Oh, man, come on. No Dragoon yet. I had really good luck in my uh, first case opening, as you guys saw. Two Dragoons in a case. Um, but a lot of people would say that's pretty decent. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, Hey, it, it's good. It's good. I've seen people pull no to one. So hopefully I can pull at least one in this case opening. We got Cherubini, Ebon Angel of the Burning Abyss. It's another good reprint. Uh, my friend probably like to get that version of the printing as well. Even though Sigurd looks really nice as well, too. But, hey, Ultra is pretty nice. Marine says Blue Tang. Alright. Beat Raptor. Witchcrafter Adele. Oh, Gizmak Orochi, the Serpenton Sky Slasher. Very nice. And, I'll trigger extension. Come on, Dragoon. I know you're in there somewhere. Okay, here we go. Maybe I just got a really bad case. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Astro Ghouls. Fantasmic. Okay. This is where this is where the tables turn, all right? Crackdown. <laughs> wow. All right. Second one. And Storm Dragon's return. We still have a chance. Nope. All right. So that's a pretty good pack. Sleeve up Crackdown and the Fantasmic. Alright, so all comes down to the last 
Two tins, basically. Six packs. Here we go. Sonic Wolf. Alright, Unchained Soul of Anguish. Shinobi Necro. Another Witchcrafter Adele. Super Anti Kaiju. Evil Isolene. Alright, so first pack there of the second. Or second to last ten wasn't so hot. Alright, moving on. Gotta be positive. Come on. Marine says blue tank. Marine says blue slug. Time thief redoer. Alright, that's that's a plus in my book. Uh witchcraft of Bator and another Cherubini. Okay. Hold on. So we get here. Whitefish salvage. Overburst Dragon. Oh, <laughs> Mystic Mind. The meme itself. Alright. Very nice. I'll sleeve that just in a bit here. Uh, Witchcrafter, Golem Aruru, and another Pyro Phoenix. Alright. Sleeve up the Mystic Mind. The last three packs. The last three packs. Here we go. Rogue of Any Minion, Zerzeal, Drago Berserker, Fusion Destiny, hey, that's pretty cool, Ultra Rare, and another Marine Sus Coral Anemone. Alright, here we go. Alright, Shinobi Necro, Astro Ghouls. Neos Fusion, okay, I'll take that. Infinite Track Fortress Mega Clubs. And Successor Soul. Alright, so it all comes down to this last pack. I might not get a Dragoon in this one. Uh, chances are very, very slim, but here we go. Last pack. Unchained Soul of Anguish, alright. Shinobi Necro. Guard Dragon LP. Oh. Cherubini. Ah, uh, no Dragoon. <laughs> wow. Alright, so no Dragoon in this opening. But, I have to say, three Apollosis, still pretty good. Okay, so, um, unlike my first case, uh, which I pulled very, very good. Here's what I got in this one. Second case, of course. One that I didn't really pull so well. Uh, but a lot of these cards are still like pretty decent. I'm not going to hate on the three Apollosis. That's very nice. Uh, I think I got two IP Mascarinos maybe. Uh, Crusader Abramax. Uh, maybe just one. Yeah, just, just one IP. So, yeah. This case wasn't the hottest, but three Apollosis. Wow. Um, I only got two in the other one. Uh, crackdowns. I didn't pull a single crackdown in the other case. So, I guess clumping is a thing. Um, but yeah, overall, in, like, total of two cases, um, I have to say the value is really good. But the value is also going to drop. So, I'd say right now, I think it would be a great time to buy it and probably trade it off or trade a card singly off or sell them. Um, but as of right now, this set is holding... Some sort of value to it. So, with that, um, thank you guys for watching. This is Arrow Dragon, and I am signing out.